Hey y'all, so for today's video, um, I'm actually here at the Falcon Boats Factory. Of course, you guys know in the off season, we start working on our boats for the next season. So uh, my boat is almost done. It's probably the earliest I've ever had a boat since I started fishing. So I'm here just kind of bringing some equipment and checking on the colors. The colors look absolutely awesome. Make sure you check out my uh, boat build vlog that I do every year. I'll post that up in the next couple weeks. But I wanted to answer some more subscriber questions that I got. I'm gonna be honest with you, these next two subscriber questions that I got asked, I thought about not answering them because they're so uh, so tight, up tent. They're tense questions. Um, there's, they're, uh, they're messy. I don't know how to say it, like they're messy questions, but you know, if you ask them and they're really good questions, I think they're legit. It's just one of those where I don't know how to answer them without being messy. So the next two videos, I'm sure, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of backlash in the comment section. I don't even know if I'm gonna turn the comment section on these videos. But uh, there's two, I'm gonna put these two questions together. Somebody asked me, is the Elite Series something that I wanna fish in the future? Uh, and then another guy asked me about, what's the determining factor of fishing MLF over bass or vice versa? Juicy questions, like, yeah. Like, there's a lot to talk about there. Uh, you know, I keep my mouth shut on a lot of that stuff on the public platform. Of course, with my buddies and everybody, I talk about it a lot, but I've been pretty quiet about my opinions on like, a league versus one league versus another and all that stuff. But uh, I'll talk about it as candid as I can here today. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty heavy. We're going to have a little bit of noise in the background. I'm actually here in the boat factory today, so but I think you can hear me clear enough anyway. Um... There's two questions. Do I want to fish the Elite Series? Is that something I see myself fishing one day? The other question was about the determining factor for me fishing MLF versus bass, all right? Uh, like I told you, I know this is going to be a sticky, crazy little question here. This is going to get a little bit grimy. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be a lot of opinions shared in the comment section. Uh, I'll start with the easiest one. For me, the, the easiest one starting off is just talking about my determining factor fishing MLF versus bass. <clears throat> um, I can really only talk about this year. I'm pretty sure I'm going to just fish Major League Fishing. Uh, we'll keep changing the name. Last year's Pro Circuit, we'll change it. I forgot the name. What do we got? I'm going to fish Major League Fishing. The Invitationals. I'm going to fish the Invitationals again next year. And I'm going to sugarcoat it. Not real happy about all the changes that we got. I don't even know why we changed the name from uh, the pro circuit to the uh, from pro circuit to the uh, to the invitationals. I feel like that was totally unnecessary. Maine didn't do anything but confuse our audience, confuse the people that follow us as anglers and pros, confuses the people that follow the leagues. It makes it a lot more confusing to know what's what, who's where, and I don't think I think it was totally unnecessary. So that was a little bit of a rub for me. Um, but my reason for fishing that, a lot of people ask me, why don't you just fish the opens, or why don't you do that? My main reason for fishing the, the invitationals this year is a couple things. Um, I like fishing by myself. For the kind of money that I'm fishing for, as much as I got invested in it, I really just like fishing by myself. I know that probably aggravates a lot of people because they're like, well, you know, co-anglers are this and they're the future of the sport and such and such. That's fine, you can be the future of the sport, you can learn on your dime, not mine. Not my dime, not my time. So, um, I don't mind co-anglers, I'm not anti-co-angler. When I fish Toyotas and stuff, I expect that, but for as much as I got invested in tournament fishing, my most important tournaments, my priority tournaments, the ones that I work for and research for, and put a lot of time and work in, I don't want any other distractions, so I like that part about the invitations, the fact that we fish alone, by myself. That's probably 50% of my decisions to, to stay with Major League Fishing for this year. Uh, the second part would probably be, um, we're going to some, I like the schedule. I like the schedule. We're going to some places I've done well before that I like fishing. So, you know, I'm probably going to enjoy my tournament season next year. When I go places that hook up with the style of fishing that I have, you know, it makes it a lot more enjoyable. So um, one, of, one, of my, one of my rubs with fishing, like, only opens. I don't mind fishing some AAA events mixed in with my professional tournaments. <clears throat> but um, 
just going straight in opens. I don't like I, the, the, having a co-angler is uh, probably not my favorite part. The fuel size is the worst part about the opens. 225, 40, 50 boats, just too many people. I, I didn't I didn't really like that part of it. Um, I do like the fact that with the opens, I like the new format where you fish all nine and they take a nine from the nine tournaments to the Elite Series. And if you win, you get into the Classic. It is a thumbs down for me not having a championship and not really fishing for anything other than the Elites and the Classic. So uh, that was my, my, my reasons. Those are my reasons for maybe pushing the opens down the road for another couple years and staying with Major League Fishing for right now. Schedule. Um, what I say, the schedule, fishing alone, and it's still a high dollar tournament. We went down from 100 to 80,000 this year. 80,000 is still 80,000. $80,000 is a lot of money. Not many people making $80,000 in two or three days. So that's why I'm going to stay there. <clears throat> Second part of this question was about the Elite Series. Wow, you know, we're so, such, everybody's so polarized in this sport right now. I'm with Bass, I'm with Major League Fishing. Don't talk to me. I know that's kind of where we are with all of this right now. Um, I don't know if I have an allegiance to either one, really. <clears throat> I just fish what I like, what's, what's most fun. I've had bad experiences with both. I've had really bad experiences with one of them. But I've had bad experiences with, with, with both, so uh, I don't have the allegiance with, with anybody at, the, at this at this point and stage in my career. Uh, the Elite Series, um, at some point, I probably, uh, at some point, as far as I can see, I probably will start to work towards uh, an Elite Series path. I don't know how to get around it at this point. I love my lead, like where I fish, that section that I fish at Major League Fishing. Um, they've kind of boxed the pro circuit or the level that I fish at. The Invitational is what we call it now as a transitional tour to the Bass Pro Tour. And uh, for me right now, the Bass Pro Tour is just it's nothing that I've ever seen myself uh, wanting to fish i've never had dreams aspirations to i've never had any goals to make it to the bass pro tour if i qualified for the bass pro tour would i fish it most likely so i just can't i i don't ever remember like coming through the ranks i don't have i, I just I never had that vision of i i work off of a vision and i work off of goals i work off of uh you know what I see going down in my head ahead of time so like where I'm at now I saw that 15 years ago I struggle with that with the Bass Pro Tour I know you know with the format I know they just changed a whole bunch of formats and stuff like that I just cannot say that I've ever seen myself fishing that I have never had aspirations to fish that um, I just where I'm at on that have I ever seen myself fishing the Bassmaster Classic? Yes, that's a very definitive yes. I'll have to think about it. Have I ever seen myself uh, lifting up a trophy? Yeah, I have. Or, or going to weigh-in, walking across the weigh-in stage? Yes, I have. Uh, there's just a lot of identity with the Bass Pro Tour that I'm not, I just don't know that that is for me. And I don't know that I, I haven't ever really had a strong aspiration to get to to what they're calling it a step up i'm not really sure that it's a step up it feels like a lateral move across uh you know we fished for a long time we fished for the same amount of money uh for first place prize we both had championships i don't really know that it's a step up you know they count with we on paper they got it pro circuit by pro tour is it really a step up? I don't know. At this point, I don't even know if, like going from open to anything or from Toyota, is it really a step up? I think it's arguable at this point. 
and, and where fishing tournaments is. I, I don't know if any of that stuff is a fish up with more like a lateral move. I feel like you can go from the, from the pro circuit and then move lateral to the Bass Pro Tour, move lateral to the elites. There's really just not a much, much difference. Now you may feel that way just because you may respect the fishermen or in the elites or you may respect the fishermen in the Bass Pro Tour more but from a business standpoint when it comes to dollar signs and uh, I, I don't know that there's a difference at all. I know there's not really much of a difference it is just you're just moving across there's no stepping up a ladder right now so um, <clears throat> for me I just fish where I look at schedules when they come out for somewhere that I feel like I want to go and fish, that's what I choose right now. Because I, I, uh, the whole professional fishing scene is a little cloudy. It's a little cloudy for me right now. I'm not really sure where it's going, what it's doing, how it's connecting with you, the audience, uh, which is really an important factor. Uh, I just want to go somewhere out where I'm happy working. And so right now I'm just staying put, just kind of relaxing and observing everybody, see what every, when I say everybody, the league, see what's going on and, and just, just really like, almost like treating it exactly like how I would a day on the water. If I feel like it would be better for me somewhere, I'll go there. If I feel like it's better for me to just sit where I am, I'll stay right here. Uh, that's the only thing I got to, to go on because really and truly nobody knows what's going on when it comes to turkey professional tournament fishing right now um there is a you know a lie out there like you can't make any money you know whatever y'all go ahead and believe that but uh you know i think that's where i'm at on all this i hope that makes sense i'm sure this comment section is going to be disgusting but I, I try not to sugarcoat that as much as i can i've had to sugarcoat things before and i hate it more than you do <laughs> be honest with you but I don't know right now I'm just gonna stay put for the next year or two hope things kind of settle out when we kind of get everything ironed out over here at Major League Fishing uh, you know everybody probably pretty familiar you know Major League Fishing acquired FLW I was really really happy FLW never had any plans to move or do anything I was really happy with the way things going but apparently things weren't so good behind the scenes and that's why we ended up where we are now so I'm uh, just gonna wait it out. Not gonna really make any knee-jerk reactions here in the near future, unless, unless I need to make a knee-jerk reaction and kick something, then I will, but I don't really feel it necessary to make any big moves just now. Um, opens aren't going anywhere. That's gonna be around for some quite some time, so if I wanna fish that, I know that'll be there in the next year or two, five years from now, eight years from now. But uh, I'm just gonna wait around for the opportunities that I have right here at Major League Fishing. Um, you know. It sucks not having a championship. It sucks having your payouts jerked out from under you. Uh, I'm really fortunate to where it probably doesn't really bother me that much. It's more just more emotional attachment uh, that I have with wanting to fish a championship and wanting to achieve some goals that I set in my mind. It's only rub for me. All right, that was a grimy question. The next one's gonna be just as grimy or even more nasty than this one so uh thanks guys for these these questions you've been asking about tournament fishing and so forth been really uh really cool answering them there's a couple on there that i've debated on whether i was going to talk about them or not and i think i'm just going to just kind of buckle up and uh and do it <laughs>